Today I want to talk about what to do when you get into one of those really blah, blah days. Um, the ones where you just don't want to get off the sofa or you don't want to move, you don't want to do anything, and there are kind of different versions of those, different levels. Um, there are the ones where you just really feel sick, you're going to, you know, like when you're in chemo and you're in your four or five days after your chemo and so you f have that hit by a truck feeling and you literally you're sick you cannot get out of bed those are kind of separate um, you know if you can move and get up more power to you <laughs> um, but you are still gonna have days when you feel tired and run down and it's just hard to get moving and get going. And so I'm kind of developing some little tricks and things to make myself feel better. And so those I wanna share. Um, you know, the very first thing I do, stay hydrated. Always, I, I drink about 80 to 100, what are they, are they ounces, they're ounces. I couldn't remember ounces or milliliters or whatever, uh, uh, 80, uh, 80 to 100 ounces of water a day. And this goes back to the bariatric surgery because you have to stay hydrated after that um, or you can end up dehydrated and end up back in the hospital very easily. So I was, I've always been careful, you know, since my surgery, I've always been really careful about staying hydrated. And I think it's even more so with the the chemo and the radiation, uh, the skin issues, you know, the, the dry skin, I think it really helps with that. And then I think it also helps just kind of keep the fluids going through your system and keep everything flush. And um, it seems to help well being as well. I, I don't know. I, I guess I can only speak for me on that, but it seems like it. So I have an itch. <laughs> um, then when you actually hit one of those days where you feel blah, we all know that if you take a shower, if you brush your teeth and you take a shower, you feel better. But it's hard to get up and get doing that. I know that. So that's like the number one thing. Get up and take a shower. Brush your teeth. You will feel, you know, like you're feeling like this, you will feel way up here. And I know that it can be really hard. I had one of those days Saturday and it was, I think three o'clock before I got in the shower. Last Saturday, never got uh, into the shower at all. I waited till Sunday morning, I reeked. I, it was hot and steamy in my apartment and you know, by about dinner time, I could smell myself, <laughs> it was nasty. So, be kind to everybody around you and take a shower. <laughs> but you will feel a lot better. You know, wash your hair, scrub up, just get all that out of you. And that's one of the good things you can do. Um, instead of wearing your schlubby old sweats and your shorts, put on something nicer. You know, you just a nice, even if it's comfortable, if it's a pair of nice shorts and a t-shirt, but you know, get out of the schlubby stuff. You know, just to kind of make yourself feel a little bit more dressed up. And you know, you don't have to put on a ball gown, like we have ball gowns, but um, when you're out of the shower, moisturize your skin. Moisturizing always seems to help my skin, it just, it makes my skin feel more elasticized, I guess, um, richer, and so that makes me feel better. And then maybe put on a little bit of makeup too. Um, I don't usually wear makeup on the weekends unless I have to actually go somewhere and do something important. If I'm running to the grocery store or something, I don't usually bother. But I notice 
even if I just put on a little bit of mascara, nothing else, but if I just put on a little bit of mascara, I feel better. So maybe that's what you need to pick you up. Or maybe your thing is lipstick. You know, mine is mascara, but if lipstick is your thing or blush or whatever, do that. You know, just take a look at yourself in the mirror after you do it and just like, yeah, okay, you know. <laughs> I'm better um, and it doesn't you don't have to do a full face of makeup but sometimes just that one little thing will help you feel a little bit better if you don't normally if you no, or rather sorry if you normally sunbathe but because of all the cancer and the chemo and the radiation you can't get out into the Sun do a fake tan you know I, I I don't normally, I mean, I'm so fair skinned that I go out in the sun and I burn like crazy. So it's not my thing, but some people really miss going out in the sun and doing, I miss laying out in the sun, even though I can only lay out there for a few minutes at a time. I miss the warmth on my skin. But you know, if it's the actual bronzing and the baking you miss, do a fake tan. Get one of those spray on, rub on. I don't even know what they are because I don't use them. But, you know, I hear the booty gurus on YouTube talk about them all the time. So, you know, if that's your thing, just give yourself a little bit of a fake tan. And maybe that will, that can perk you up. Um, put on a feel good movie instead of just watching same old, same old, you know, put in something you know is going to make you feel good. And don't go for a heart throbber, you know, just like something that's going to make you cry because it's so sad and you want, or something where you're going, oh, why? You know, or now I just watched Life of Pi, so if you haven't watched it and it's in your queue, you might want to hit mute for a second. But it's a good movie but at the end I was screaming what happened to the tiger I was literally screaming at the TV what happened to the tiger because they don't tell you okay so if you muted you can unmute um so it was a good movie but except for that um I always want to know <laughs> Put an animal in front of me. I want to know. And so, you know, these are things like if you can't get out of the house, these are things you can do at home that, you know, will kind of help you feel a little bit better. And if you can get out of the house, go for a little bit of a walk, even if it's just like down to the mailbox and back. Um, we have this really long driveway that goes downhill which means if I go down to the mailbox then I have to walk back uphill so that's just a nice little walk for us um, and sometimes I'll just do that and you know I'm even if we don't go around the block or anything it's just nice to get down and out and then back up and then usually by the time I get back up it's like oh maybe we should go for a longer walk and then I look at the driveway again and I go, yeah. <laughs> So, and if you're out for a walk, you know, if if you don't have a dog or a cat or, um, you know, if you're out for a walk, you're at the park, you're out, you know, on your neighborhood street and you see somebody else walking their dog or their cat, it does happen, um, ask if you can hug him. Don't just go up and hug him, but ask if you can hug the dog. Just tell them, you know, I'm really feeling kind of low and I could use a hug right now. Can I hug your dog? And I'm going to tell you nine times out of 10, they're going to tell you, yeah, go for it. Um, I, there are very, very few situations where I would not let somebody hug my dog. Um, my dog would have to be running in the opposite direction from them pretty much. So, you know, dog owners are, for the most part, very generous with their doggy love. So, you know, that's always something. If you have a dog or a cat or, you know, some other animal that you love, bring them in. <laughs> you know, get the loving. Um, get a massage. 
if you can't get out and get a massage, if you have somebody in the house, your husband, your wife, your whoever, ask them to give you a massage, a foot rub, something that would make you feel better. You know, um, if you can get out of the house, get a manicure, get a pedicure, uh, get a facial, get go book a massage. You know, do something for yourself that will make you feel better. And you know, you can get your eyebrows waxed, your upper lip waxed if that's, you know, if that makes you feel better. Get your legs waxed if that makes you feel better, or your underarms. There are always little things you can do that will make you feel better about yourself and about what you're going through. And some of them will be good for a little bit of time and some of them will be good for a longer bit of time like if you get your eyebrows waxed they're gonna look good for a while so you know you can feel good about that for a few weeks and so it's just little things to help you kind of come out of the blahs I guess the, the ugh, part of the day um, we have had a lot of vog here in Oahu, on Oahu because of the Big Island volcano. It's just kind of blowing up our way right now. And so I've been getting headaches because of the VOG. A lot of people get asthma and breathing problems. I get headaches. And so, um, in fact, I'm looking out the window at it right now. It is so ugly. Oh. But I spent all day Saturday just kind of down flat and one of the problems is there's not a lot I can do for it. Um, there's just, because the VOG just sits there, it's constantly around you. It's the pressure and the sulfur in the air. So you can't, unless you actually go somewhere, you can't change it. And there's not a lot of places to go where the VOG isn't at this point. So if the VOG comes in, it, it's here. And, and then there's also the issue of actually getting up and driving somewhere when you feel like your head is going to explode. So, those are my suggestions. Like I said, you know, I finally got up and took a shower and I felt a little bit better after that. Not enough to go driving somewhere to try and escape fog, but I felt a little bit better. I didn't smell anymore <laughs> but um, yeah I personally I recommend the doggy love I rely on that <laughs> but remember hydrate yourself drink a lot of water moisturize your skin always because that's really important no matter what um, oh stretching I, I just realized this I was getting up from my desk and I did this big stretch and I thought oh Wow, that felt good. That's something else you can do. Just do some stretches. Oh, it does feel good. <laughs> and so, you know, even if you can't really get out and do anything, just stand up straight and stretch your arms. And yeah. So, those are just some ideas. If you have more, comment down below. Let me know what they are and maybe we can share them again in another video and so uh, as always if you have ideas for future videos or something that you'd like more information on comment down below be sure to like the video and hit the notification and subscribe buttons if you haven't already very important and i'll talk to you later bye bye